Hey guys, last year when I got my Street Glide, I outfitted it with a lot of custom Dynamics lights. I did the smart amber red LED turn signals on the rear, the Pro Beam Tri Bar, I did the low profile sequential bags lights, and I did the controller to get some pulsing on braking. Up front, I did the Pro Beam amber white turn signals, and for the headlight, I went with the LED halo, and that's something I'm going to be changing out now. The LED halo is on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of cost. It's a really good looking headlight, and I don't ride much at night, so I was happy with that. But with a year that's gone past, I just wanted some more light up front. And if I do catch myself riding at night on these dark country roads where I live that have lots of twisties, I think the new light I'm going to be going with is going to be a nice upgrade. And that is the Pro Beam Adaptive 2. So I'm really excited to get this in the bike. What I notice with both lights is that on low beam, the light doesn't project out too far. And I'm guessing that's probably a DOT spec, so you're not blinding oncoming drivers. Both lights have a pretty wide pattern, so you can see each side of the road. But when leaning in curves, the adaptive is really going to take it to the next level. In terms of brightness, how much light do you want on the front of your motorcycle? I know how much I want. But if it's just about brightness, you can add driving lights. Where the Pro Beam Adaptive really stands out is when you're leaning and curved. Before we get into that, just taking a look at a couple still shots of low beam and then high beam, you can see it's a bright light. There are three main lights in the center of the bulb, and there are three additional ones down on the bottom for the high beam. This doesn't include the ten lights around the top half of the light, which come on when you're in a lean. When the Pro Beam Adaptive powers up, all the lights come on in a diagnostic pattern. To me, this is the coolest LED headlight on the market. This is the low beam, as I mentioned, wide, but not too far out in front. But you'll see as I make this turn, uh, you'll have the adaptive lights coming on. But this is not a great example of those adaptive lights. I just wanted to show it so they're very obvious. Now taking a look at the high beam, you're going to see a very concentrated light in the center. The video doesn't pick it up and give you a true representation. It is very much like a spotlight in the center of the road, but it is more spread out than you're seeing in this video. But again, you're seeing the adaptive lights come on in that type turn. Now this here is my previous LED headlight. It's not adaptive. So as I lean into these turns, you see the light turning with the bike, but there's no additional light in those dark areas to the right and left as I make these leans. Now this is the same stretch of road, but with the adaptive. And right away you notice when I lean, you get additional light on those dark corners to the right and left. Same stretch of road, but now high beam. The road is lit up nice and bright. As I lean into those curves, the adaptive kicks in and just gives you a nice, even, bright path. That moon is not by Custom Dynamics. But if it were, it'd be brighter. The last minute or so of this video is just some more footage of me driving at night through twisties with low beam and high beam. I have to say I'm really happy with this light. It wasn't cheap, but I think for what you get, you get a lot. And Custom Dynamics supplies the harness needed for your model bike. It's cheaper than getting the Daymaker from Harley. And from other tests I've seen online, it is actually brighter than the Daymaker. I think it really makes the bike look nice. Uh, it's not just about brightness, but when you're going into those curves, it's really nice to have those dark spots on each side lighting up just to give you more confidence in your ride. Sometimes I make a big purchase for my bike and I feel like, well, I don't know if that was really worth it, but this is not one of those times. I'm really happy with this headlight and would definitely recommend it. So if you're on the fence, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.